What's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the qualifying exam, aka the quals. What the heck is it? And why do we need to take it? And is it effective? The qualifying exam is an exam that every first year student has to take and pass before they reach candidacy. Uh, candidacy is when you commit to a research group so you can focus mostly on your thesis. So why do first years have to take the quals? Well, usually departments want to test the undergraduate preparation of their students, and they also want to let them figure out what their weaknesses are. So for example, if someone had a really great quantum mechanics course in undergrad, but they had a really bad statistical mechanics course, then the quals helps them figure out which area is their weakness so that they could focus on that course at the graduate level. The other reason is that departments usually want to set a standard uh, so they want their students to be at a certain level before they move on to candidacy. And the quals is one way of achieving that. Now the question is, is it effective? I think judging the efficacy of the quals uh, depends on what the quals are used for. So sometimes departments try to use it as a filtering tool to get rid of students, whereas other departments use it to actually help the students identify their weaknesses. So depending on how you use the quals, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. So what's the quals actually like? Well, when I took it, it was a five hour exam made up of 10 questions that focus on the four main areas of undergraduate physics, which are mechanics, ENM, statistical mechanics and thermodynamics, and then finally quantum mechanics. Each question was about 10 points and then uh, the passing grade depends on how other people do. But that's only one way that the quals could be. In fact, there are many shapes and forms of quals depending on the department you're in. So for example, uh, in my department in the previous series, we actually had two exams for the quals. One that focused on the classical physics, which is classical mechanics and electrodynamics, and then another exam that focused on modern physics. So stuff like quantum mechanics, particle physics, nuclear physics, and then more uh, advanced topics. Other universities may have an oral part to the qualifying exam. Uh, I know in our department, the applied physics uh, must do an oral examination along with their written exam. So it really depends on the university you're in, the department you're in, and the quals could vary vastly from just written to maybe just oral. So now that we know what the quals are and what they're made of, how do you actually study for it? So my advice is to start early. When I had my quals in January, I started studying for them the winter break before the start of the semester. I basically went through all the past quals, I tried to do every problem in there, and figure out where my weaknesses were. Uh, I noticed, for example, I was forgetting a lot of things in quantum mechanics, uh, so I went back and reviewed those. So then about two weeks before the quals, I redid the old qualifying exam problems again, I made sure that I knew how to do every single one, that I didn't miss anything, and then I went through the equation list in the Conquering the Physics GRE book to make sure that I didn't miss any equations or concepts in my undergraduate preparation. But of course, it's not enough to just study for the exam, you also have to be mentally prepared. And usually what I like to do is I like to have a good night's sleep, I like to have uh, food or drink before the exam so that I have energy during the exam, and if I'm nervous or I'm feeling stressed, I like to walk around beforehand. So what happens if you fail the quals? Well, it really depends on your department. For example, my department gives us three extra tries if we fail the first time. That's more than enough time for someone to figure out their weakness and work on it so that they could pass and proceed to candidacy. But I've heard that other departments may kick you out of the program if you actually fail the first or second time, which is going to put a lot of stress on their graduate students. What if you were in charge? Would you keep the calls? Do you think it's an effective way of measuring the level of preparation of your students? Or do you think it's just a waste of time because it does not correlate with research? Let me know what you think in the comments. So I hope this video has informed you a bit about the qualifying exam. I'm hoping to do videos on the GRE and the physics GRE and maybe the preliminary exams. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see in the comments and I'll see you next time.